Hello there. How are you today? Welcome to all of that. Yes. Oh, I'm a new shop. Yes, I'm the new owner. Yes. I just took over for my father. In fact, he just went away and now I'm, I'm a, a new shop owner. I just graduated all so you can call me Mr. Mr. Ollivander, just as my father, in love with that, in love with that as well, and so on. Yes. Yes, we have owned, well, we have run our own shop by family since, one second. Oh, there's it. 332, 3. 82 BC. Yes, well, oh, yeah. And we are happy to help you find the one that matches you. Yes, yes, we are the best one shop in all of Europe. Yes. So, let, let me guess, you are getting a wand for Hogwarts, if you wish, you must get a wand for, for your Hogwarts training. Yes, you, your first wand. Second. Third. Might I ask how that happened? No, oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, Perhaps so. just make sure that you take good care of your wings, to say the least. Yes. So, essentially how our wand pairing is going to work is there is many... I, I suppose we haven't... Us wizards haven't quite found out exactly how a wand works. Essentially, as we say, the wand chooses the wizard. Um, it is thus believed that wands share a certain bond with the wizards they choose. Again, how exactly that happens is unknown. Um, to this day, Wizards have searched to figure out exactly how this bond happens since the beginning of time. But that remains unknown, and perhaps I believe that it is probably uncomprehendable to the human mind, like many other things in the wizarding world. 
magic has always been and always will be since the beginning of time. It existed, I suppose, before time itself. Yes. Well, we are going to find a wand that matches your personality the best and that will work with you the best. So, it may take us a couple tries, but before we go along with your wand of choosing, what we have to do is a quick personality test. So, this I found helps a lot. Um, I'm going to be writing it in this book right here. I'm going to write it I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions about your personality. They are just simple ones. Um, but they will inevitably uh, have book and choosing go a little bit faster. And it will be easier for me to pick out which of our wonderful selection of ones will fit you the best. So, Question one is simply, how would you describe yourself as a person in general? What do you think your personality is? sample of I, I think music is a very good way to decipher one's personality how um, what is your favorite instrument and if you play any uh, what are they like classical violin and piano And would you say naturally played by human hands or by the hands of magic? By the hands of magic. Now, what is your favorite food? family or do you have magic roots throughout? Muggle. Oh, how interesting. Well, I suppose I wish you luck nowadays. It's, it's harder, I suppose, especially in this day and age as a muggle, to get into muggle. Anyway, 
كلها Not that I, I despise like many others nowadays, but I suppose I'm just leaving it to now, shall I? Now, let's see what else we have here. Alright, now, would you rather? Have a troll kill your sibling or one of your parents. Good choice, no one likes siblings. Um right. If you have a potion of poison death what would you do with it? Yeah, good choice. Yes, I would do the same. Um, let me think here. What holes house do you think you would be in? A buff? Oh. Now, introvert or extrovert? And what do you believe your patronus would be? Oh yes, that's actually mine. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could just do it any time I like. Just to stare up on it. It's, it's a lovely spell to watch. The yeah, cast. Um, I think we have two more questions. Let's just see how we get it. Oh, no, please get that one. Last question, what is your favourite event? Mine too. Right. Okay, now I think I've got a good idea of sort of what your personality is like. I think that would be probably to do your adventures, but I know it's been incredibly exciting. Right, that's what you've already done with the adventures, I'm sure, this time. But that's alright. You all have days like that. Unless of us. Yes, 
And this one is Ebony Wood with a unicorn. It's wonderful. I think that this one goes well with um, energetic people. So, yes, let us take a look at this one now. This one is a very pretty design. Um, not one of my works, I was like to say. This one was made in France. Sort of a very, very delicate design. See? Very beautiful. So, would you like? But we shall find it eventually. Oh, what a shame! It's such a pretty wall. This is one of my favorite designs in the shop. Actually. But sometimes beauty in a wand is not everything. And so we shall find. I love it. It's a velvet case, actually. This is our um, special art on this case. That one's made of art, fortunately. And it's handsome, and it was just like a really good one. It's just a different friend. But this one, I think, might work. Um, you can see there is some very lovely wounds. Ebony wood as well. I think ebony wood works very well with people like you. And, and yes, a lot of it's on it. And here we have a oh, phoenix feather. Very good. I need to clean up that aisle. Oh, oh no, it's all right. Oh, uh, give me another one. Why don't you give me that one back, please? Well, definitely not this one, but. Let's give it another try. 
I'm just shaking. That's a lovely one too. It's not quite the wood I thought, but it might just be one. Here we are. Now, this one is an old but Okay, you feel it. So, let's just take a look at this one. The side of the box is falling off, but no, no. Seem to be getting a very good aura out of it. Now, this one. Is ebony uh, yeah, oak wood with a unicorn hair in it. Similar one to the one that failed to, but I do think that maybe if ebony wood isn't quite suited to you, as it seems. So, why not? One's got a lovely fine design, but it's a short quarter. And this is one of my makes. Now, why not do you give it a go? Ooh, lovely. Well, that was a quick find, wasn't it? Lovely. Well, that is definitely a wand. Name? Mm. And then, what wand? Oak. Wood. Um. Thank you very much for that. 
electricity problems. And perhaps, since I suppose the Ollivanders are always gifted with many years, that perhaps I shall see your children in the midship and after that. So, thank you very much for your purchase at Ollivanders. Here is your lovely friend. And, um, if a chance your wand does break again, um, we do have a probably a million other choices for you. If not that, tenfold. Well, there you are. Alright. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy your new wand. And, yes. I hope we shall see your offspring. Alright. Bye bye.